Hello and welcome to the inaugural 2020 Western District Women in Sport Awards, a brainchild of footballing girls president Munira Ramatula, which began in Ekurleni three years ago, is now reaching regions outside of the East Strand. A showcase of the impact the awards have had since its inception. We'll be taking you through a journey of phenomenal women in sport that have succeeded and contributed immensely within their communities. Without further ado, let's begin our formal proceeding with the opening remarks from Munira Ramatula. Hi, I'm Munira Ramatula, the founder of Footballing Girls. I'm also the vice president of the Gauteng Sport Confederation as well as the chairperson of women in sport in the province. So today we're out in the West Rand in uh, Randfontein at the Mbizo Chambers. Um, it's the inaugural West Strand Women in Sports Awards. It's a very exciting time because there's so many women within West Strand who have achieved amazing things and put West Strand on you know, the national stage. And it's high time that we started celebrating them and recognizing them for their efforts. Um, unfortunately, it's going to be virtual. We would have really loved to have had a live event, however, due to COVID regulations and the safety of everybody concerned. We felt that it's best to still go ahead with the awards, but keep it on a virtual level because we still think it's important to celebrate and recognize women in sport. Chair on the red carpet and um, just so relieved and happy that COVID regulations are being adhered to. Our finalists are looking stunning. So very honored <laughs> to have the presence of um, Honorable Executive Mayor Tabe. Our involvement, because we are a municipality that is also caring, we are a district that is having the local municipalities, that is your Mahali city and your Rand West and Merafo. So we are embracing the good work that our women in sports are having. So one of the other important part for us is just to facilitate that this particular inaugural uh, sports award goes according to the plan and we are humble and grateful that as it starts is going to peak by next year we are committing to say we'll make sure that it gets bigger than how it started today and we want to encourage every particular female in sport to do their level best and with the federations that are also there we want to encourage them to start working with the local municipalities related to the IDP processes so that they are able to make sure that whatever their needs are are being raised in those particular platforms of the IDP. Tulu, who is our chair, who has always been so instrumental from the start of this to ensure that you know the women in the West Strand feel appreciated and that they are celebrated and recognized, but also to kind of work on building um, sports programs for girls on the ground. Um, out here we also have our Women in Sports Awards Ambassador Alyssa Conley who's an Olympian as well as a Springbok Sevens rugby player. You know it was very important for us to partner with her and for us to work together to promote this because she's so passionate about women's sport and women empowerment and it's important for us to find the right fix. I'm Alyssa Conley, um, national sprinter, Rio 2016 Olympian and currently playing for the Springbok Sevens women team. Um, yeah, I've been an athlete for a lot of years and I think what Nura and the team is doing is absolutely amazing for women and female in sport. I think that we definitely need a lot of recognition. Um, you know, I think a lot of ladies just tend to move away from their sporting dreams and, you know, just to award them and know that they're, they're working hard and we see their work and we see what they're doing out in whatever sporting field that they are in, you know, as, as, as huge for women in sport. So I think it's a really, really good initiative, yeah. For me as a female in sport, I've, I've been in sport for professional sport for over 21 years. So, you know, I've had ups and downs, I've had a lot of challenges, I've had a lot of moments where I wanted to give up. Um, but, you know, small recognitions like this and small victories like this that we get to celebrate keeps us working hard and keeps us moving forward. So I think that, especially in this year of COVID, you know, not getting to compete, not getting to be on the field, um, recognition like this and receiving an award for your hard work is, is amazing, yeah. I think it's, it's obviously a, a challenge, you know, for COVID. I think people are used to just getting dressed up, coming to a gala, you know, receiving rewards. And it's obviously much easier that way because it's what we're used to. But I think COVID has basically taught us that we need to be adaptable and we need to change and we need to accept change. And I think that's a life lesson that we can use um, throughout our, our careers, whatever we're doing. So I think that, you know, Munira and the team is doing really well. And obviously it's, it's, it's a new thing. It's a new initiative and it's something that they have to get used to as well. But um, I think that still being able to come out and receive an award and being recognized is, is, is good. Captain Fantastic is out here, um, always supportive, 
like he's always very supportive of the footballing girls initiatives always supportive of our women in sport so he's out here to hand out um, Disky retail Disky sport retailers prize they've uh, sponsored a few of the categories my name is Bonso Mukukwane I'm from the West Rand and Western area I am here to represent the Karate Federation the Western Karate Federation for the West Rand I work as a uh, table official in karate. I've also acquired my national colors and my regional colors. I've worked on several events when we had the Commonwealth uh, Games in Durban. I worked there. That's when I in my my national colors. I think Women in Sports is a great initiative and it's a great honor for myself to be nominated to be one of the nominees and in, as, as a woman in sports myself and I think it's a great initiative in that women who take part in sports and women who are mothers to athletes and all of that also get recognized because if one of your kids get nominated it's not just them winning but you as a mother who raised them up and a woman you also will get some credit from that. The official program is about to start so I gotta go and make myself look pretty and looking forward to meeting you inside. Thank you to all our partners who made the inaugural West Rand Women in Sport a reality. Coaches are often mothers, fathers, caregivers and mentors. They play an integral part in any athlete's lives. Here are the nominees for Coach of the Year. Kaja Brewer is a judo coach who's had athletes qualify for international events and won SA Championship medals. Hester Schruder is a boxing coach who is active in promoting gender equality in boxing. Kiara Betsui Dikanyo is a former protea who strives to pass on her gold medals, passion, onto the next generation. And the winner is... The Federation of the Year. These are the nominees. West Rand Dance District Ronel Heyman oversees two associations and works hard to start a third association to grow and prepare players through the individual EXCO committees to represent West Rand Dance District at national level and various other Gauteng championships. Mirafong Netball Federation developed teams from 9 to 14 years, managed to host umpire and coaching clinics, as well as build two male netball teams. And the winner is... Let's now take a look at the nominees for Community Sports Journalist of the Year. Adele Lowe's coverage of sport includes reporting about female sporting stars and sports enthusiasts from previously disadvantaged communities of Mirafong. Adele Bloom supports all sporting codes, including judo. She promotes and encourages sport in communities. And the winner is... School Team of the Year. Here are the nominees. Langabeza Under-13 Chess Team are district champions for five consecutive years. Gauteng School League champions, winning it for the fourth year in succession. Glen Harvey Combined School Under-19 Netball Team are fast five winners in 2019, played in NSA Under-19 Champions in 2018 and 2019. Itumeleng Special School introduced 13 codes where most of the female athletes with disabilities participate. The school received 10 gold medals, 9 silvers and 12 bronze medals during LSE in athletics. And the winner is...
Here are the nominees for Team of the Year. Westrand Under-14 Girls Chess won silver medals at the SA Junior Chess Championships. They are Westrand champions. Five members are part of the Hlangabeza girls team that won Gauteng School League. Westrand Netball Under-21 team won gold at the Spa Nationals in 2019. Westrand Girls 12 to 13 years team in 2019 won the bronze medal at the South African Team Championships at their first Masakane team event in 2020. The under 12 girls achieved second place. And the winner is... Let's now take a look at the nominees for Sport Club of the Year. Morgan Moss Karate International has 50 athletes ranked in the top 10 of the national rankings. 29 athletes ranked in the top 4 of the national rankings and 11 athletes ranked number 1. Rams netball team takes children from the communities to become number 1 in rural area activity tournament. Produced teams for rural development tournament Westrand League and became number one in the rural communities of Ranfontein. Neo Vinalia Mzaza won several tournaments, took children out of the streets and donated clothing for the needy players. And the winner is... The next category stands on its own. As a winner, congratulations to Krista Black for winning the Sponsor of the Year. Let's now take a look at the nominees for Technical Official of the Year. Bonzo Mokukwane passed the table official certificate course for Westrand and Gauteng, served at tournaments in the district, provincial and national championships, also served at the Commonwealth Karate World Champs for Karate South Africa. Elmarie Ru regularly achieved highest judging score at provincial and national level bodybuilding events, achieved IFBB International Elite Pro Level Judge status, selected to present Team South Africa as a judging official at the Fit Model World Championships in Latvia in 2019. Keegan Diabe is 15 years old and has actually achieved some excellent results in the sport of judo. She won national trials as a pre-cadet and has also been national champion on numerous occasions. And the winner is... Let's now take a look at the nominees of those that dedicate their time to sport. Here are the Volunteer of the Year nominees. Natasha Annette Fenter is Secretary of the Federation in a voluntary capacity. She assists with preparations for tournaments. Michelle Jonker from the Dance Association arranges huge events and fundraisers to raise funds for the national team. Mari May is a volunteer with official work judging at district, province and national events during 2018 and 2019. She judged at the Bloemfontein League tournament. And the winner is... The nominees for Administrator of the Year are... Susan De Silva from West Gauteng Amateur Boxing Association has dedicated her life to promoting the sport. Susan has made a concerted effort to make female and male boxing visible in the media. Dora Vuyelwa Mguevu from ISMO Athletics Club is a road race organizer, was a technical organizer at the Western Marathon and has been part of the technical team for Soweto Marathon for the past four years. Ronal Heyman from the West Rand Dance Association 
She is responsible to advertise and notify all players of scheduled tournaments. She arranges accommodation and transport for players participating in Gauteng Championships and in National Championships. And the winner is... Sport Athlete of the Year nominees. Ntabele Mukhele is the reigning 2019 Badirile Secondary School Sportswoman of the Year. She holds the Mirafong School's 100-meter girls under-17 record. Nombulelo Fila is a Kuzong Chess Club Freedom Day 2019 gold medalist, the 2018 SA Junior Team Championship, and a gold medalist from 2018. Caitlin Gufford and her horse Lady Shakira came fifth overall at the Sanessa West Awards Ceremony in July. They then came eighth at the Sanessa Houting Finals in the Handy Hunter Discipline and ninth in Novice Pre Caprili. And the winner is... From one sport woman to another, here are the nominees for Sport Woman of the Year. Danielle van Veek is the 2019 SA Women's Cup gold medalist, 2019 SA Karate League two gold medals in her bag at all three league events, SA Elite Karate Championship two gold medals. Shawal Bagaria won national trials in 2019 as well as 2020. She was crowned South African champion in her age and weight category for 2019 and was ranked number one cadet girl in her age. Hayley Bothma is currently the regional, provincial and national champion in her division. Bothma won the national championship for the fifth consecutive year and is currently ranked number one in the Karate South African national rankings. And the winner is... Nominees for Sportswoman of the Year with a Disability. Basisanas Kosana is a netball gold medalist regional and provincial. Gymnastics gold medalist in 2019 from the SA Schools Champs. Tatane Ma Tatsum is ranked in the top five South African women wheelchair tennis. Tatane teaches young people in her community tennis. Magdalene Lichwiti, 2018 darts tournament at Germiston where she won one trophy for most improved player. Athletics SAPS Championship Bluefontein 2019 winner and Javelin gold medalist, shot put gold medalist. And the winner is... Let's now take a look at the nominees for Community Sports Achiever of the Year. Haley Bothma won the national championship for the fifth consecutive year and is currently ranked number one in the Karate South African national rankings. Shawai Bagaria is a 17-year-old athlete who won national trials in 2019 as well as 2020 in the cadet age group 15 to 17. She was crowned national champion in 2019 and is currently ranked number one in her age and weight. Ayanda Ngombani represented the Golden Lions in both the under-16 and under-18s in the provincial weeks three years in a row. Also got invited to the Springbok Junior Camp in 2019 and currently captain of the school side and under-18 club side. And the winner is...
almost come to the end of our formal program, but it's now time for the Comfort President's Awards. Handing over the awards is MMC Buisile Kulu, WSC President Kruben Pele, Chairperson of Women in Sport Commission, Lerato Sibidi. Donne Roots is a 2018 Youth Olympian, shot put gold medalist, and an essay record holder of 17.58 meters. Gold medal at the Athletic South Africa Championships in Discus. Dorothy Moller received a trophy and certificate of achievement for exceptional service to boxing by West Gauteng in 2019. A medal winner for West Gauteng and Sanabo for her work and dedication to the sport. Since she qualified as judge, she traveled all over the country for tournaments and championships. Dora Mguevu is a former athlete who was a professional athlete who now dedicates her life to bringing up new talent, is a development officer at Central Gauteng Athletics. Minent Lemia represented South Africa at the World and African Chess Championships. Highest rated under 10 girl in the country. Mirafong School Under 11 winner, District Under 11 champion. Yeah. Congratulations once again to all our incredible winners. It's truly been a great debut for the West Rand Women in Sports Awards. Till next year, keep enriching and empowering those women around you in order to build our community.